Mr. Alba, I request that you testify once more. Wait, the heck? You're not seeing. You can't see anything. Yeah. There be I... no screen. <laughs> why, is my, screen. why is my stream not up? When did I close my stream? I closed it. Turned off. Uh, wow. Wait, right after you finish recording. Shut the fuck up! Uh, Mr. Halber, <laughs> I request that you testify once more. <laughs> oh, if there's anything else for me to testify about. I still have yet to fully prove that it was Mr. Alba who murdered Mr. Cochin. Well, I would like to hear about your movements before the murder occurred. I wonder if you could tell us about what you did here at the Theatrum Neutralis. Very well. <laughs> I suppose I could tell you about that. <laughs> because about all I did was watch the Steel Summer I Say show. <laughs> Elaborating on even that alone is good enough for me. The only way for me to place this man under arrest is to pinpoint the exact location of where the murder took place for that it for of where the murder took place, for that is the key to this investigation. I watched from the last row. The stage was well lit, but it was dark out in the audience. I swear there was not I swear I was there in the audience. But it's hard to prove that, I suppose. I do remember the contents of the show very well, though. Is that proof enough of you? Those moving scenes were seared into this old man's heart. I'll never forget them. <laughs> So you were in the theater proper, watching the Steel Samurai stage show, were you? Of course I was. I have a great fondness for the Steel Samurai. Darian? Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah! That was pretty cool up there, wasn't I? You're not the one who was cool. It was the Steel Samurai who was cool. Cope, cope, see, mouth, mouth. Mouth. Yeah. And the Steel Samurai's <laughs> special finishing move today was really something, huh? Hmm? Hey, Edgy. What the fuck is she? Who is this super cute girl? Oh my gosh. She's been standing here the whole time, and only now <laughs> you notice her? She's also a minor. Her name is Kay Faraday, and she's helping me in my investigation. Sorry I didn't get to introduce myself earlier, but better late than never. Uh, yes, okay, I'm Larry Bum. Silence in the arena, Gary. There's no time for such chivalries at a time like this. You jealous? <laughs> Mr. Prosecutor, this is the final battle, you got that? I know, this is the end. For that man there. No, now that's the kind of thing I like to hear. I think I'll give uh, trusting you. I think I'll give trusting you a try, Mr. Prosecutor, or rather, Mr. Edgeworth. Ooh, by name now. I leave this critical battle up to your ass, Mr. Edgeworth. I have no fear. I will finish the job. Saddle, Nero. This really is the end game. The time has come to expose every last one of Mr. Alba's lies. Let's review the apology video. I watched from the last row. The stage was well lit, but it was dark out in the audience. So? Are we just back to regular person? I swear I was there in the audience, but it's hard to prove that, I suppose. How would it be hard to prove he was in the audience? Like, look at him. I do remember the contents of the show very well, though. Is that proof enough for you? Yeah, recite the entire script. <laughs> well, I remember the contents of the show as well, myself. I'm so <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Miles Edgeworth, don't allow yourself to be riled up for him at this important juncture. 
I wasn't planning to let him. Well, if you ask me, I think I'm the biggest Steel Samurai expert around here. I'm the biggest man. I'm the biggest man. Didn't you think the climactic scene of today's show was just totally awesome? Yes, I remember that well. And that spectacular special move. The way you deliver the final blow against the evil magistrate early summer rain job. Oh, that scene will live in my heart forever. Is that how it went? Man, I totally forgot. How can you forget your own special moves? That's the special attack that the Seal Samurai uses when he's using the Samurai Spear. <laughs> Why well, yes, and today was the first time they showed it off, was it not? If I hadn't watched the show, then how could I answer you with the same with the name of the move? <laughs> I suppose you are correct. But if you could, please elaborate on this point for me. New statement. One of the scenes was of his never before seen early summer ranger move. Uh, I felt like I remember hearing Larry bring that up when we were trying to not get him killed earlier, but that was so long ago. <laughs> uh, obviously, this is. This, let me look at him. Is that? <coughs> Uh, go to the right. Are you looking at spears again? Yeah. Any spears? Mm -hmm. Red nice. bozo. He bent it. He couldn't do the early summer rain job special attack. Yeah. Short ending. <laughs> the special move today was the early summer rain job. Is that your final answer? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we lost, guys. Like I said, after every controversial take, I'm using this. <laughs> Can't wait to get in the beat. <laughs> <laughs> you little irritating. <laughs> Do you think you could trap me up by asking the same question over and over? <laughs> That was not my intention. Your testimony is more than sufficient. However, I believe it would be wise for you to take a look at this. Oh, that's a sorry spear. Well, what about it? This spear actually never made it on stage today. Oh, excuse me. You poor old bastard. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, tonight's Steel Samurai Happened to be a goof of a young man with an abundance of useless hot bloodedness. An absolute loser of an individual. <laughs> Complete failure of a human being. Your life literally is as valuable as an early summer ant. He <laughs> probably shit his pants at one point. Damn. Well, that's awesome. Having said that, <laughs> having said that, said useless man bent the spear during his rehearsal this evening. Okay, do you remember what the Steel Samurai special move was tonight? It was the Steel Samurai Sushi Slash! <laughs> Great. <laughs> because he couldn't use the spear, a last minute change was made. Had you really been watching the show, you would have known the move the move that was that was used. Oh. Kirkus Alba. You didn't even you didn't watch even a single minute of the Steel Samurai stage show tonight, did you? I'm an old man, I can't remember shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if he wasn't watching the show tonight. Who see, was? It's just a possibility that he was busy killing Mr. Kochin instead. <laughs> so, where were you during the show? I demand an answer now. Uh, I was, uh, <laughs> hey man, what's so funny? You're so sloppy. 
you and saw your conclusions. I still insist that I watch the show, or most of it in any case. What do you mean by most of it? Ah, you see, uh, during the show, I let my suit for a spell if it's the bathroom. I assume that was when that dramatic scene that played out on stage. <sighs> that is the lousiest, lamest excuse I've ever heard in my life, pal. Mods Crusher School. <laughs> Mods Tickles Prostate. Just because you got the name of the move wrong? We can't really use that as proof that he didn't watch the show at all. Generic. <laughs> what it sounded like. <laughs> as I fell off the steel cell, I, I wanted to watch the entire show, honest. My bowels got stuck on the toilet. As a steel samurai fan, no one's oh. a bigger steel samurai fan than me. I mean, <laughs> for someone who wasn't even in a seat for the climax of the show, you have no right to call yourself a Steel Samurai fan. Ever. Punk. <laughs> Bitch. Who was that just now? Ace Phoenix. Oh, nope, never mind. No Larry Butts. Will be I, no, lady. <laughs> Larry, Super what are you? Blood. What are you doing, interrupting me like that? Edgy. Just hold on for a second. I beg. You may never accept this old man as steel. Uh, oops. You may never accept this old man as a steel samurai fan, bars. But I totally think he's a steel salmon. What? Sam Mania. Sam My bad. Samoan. Um, <laughs> what exactly is a steel Samoan? Alba is a Samoan. What exactly is a steel Samoan, pal? I believe he meant to say steel samurai Samoan. Yeah. Trust me, I know a real fan when I see one because I'm the steel samurai. I, am. I will never acknowledge you as a true <laughs> tribal chief. <laughs> Steven? Didn't hear you. What? What are you getting so worked up over, Mr. Edgeworth? God. It appears the real steel samurai recognizes me as a fan. That's well, you should, for I am a fan. It's not so I missed the entire show. It was the most amazing show, filled with the spirit of the young and the young at heart. Hmm. The sarcasm dripping from his long wooden nose couldn't run any thicker. Long, large, thing. <laughs> so bad. Fade the black. Getting the name of the move wrong only proves that he didn't watch the last scene. What I really need Pulse here thing. is something more definitive. Something that links Mr. Alba directly to the murder of Mr. Manny Cochin. You know what, yeah. Gramps? You're really something else. I wanted to receive such praise from the Steel Samurai, but... What is it for? Well, I was just wondering how you found out about the early summer rain jab. That move is a bit of a secret that only a small portion of the staff know about. Wait, it was a secret? Larry, wait, what did you just say? The fuck you just say that? Huh? Did I just say something stupid again? Did you say that the early summer rain jab was actually a secret? Well, maybe I shouldn't have said secrets. It's more like we only decided on the name of the move right before the start of the show. Right before? Yeah, the stage director was going nuts because we were supposed to debut the move. 
about five minutes before the show, we threw it up on the dressing room whiteboard. Early summer rain jab. That's kind of how we decided the name of the move. But by that time, I'd already bent the spear, so I guess the whole thing was kind of pointless. <laughs> All of you steal some of my actors of the same. So the director has my complete sympathy. Wow, that's pretty racist, but uh, okay. Basically, because we changed the move to the Sushi Slash, we kind of pretended that the early summer rain jab didn't exist at all. I mean, it'd be bad if someone found out we changed the move, so we made it a secret. So basically, a gag order was issued for the publicity's sake. It almost makes the early summer rain jab sound like a lost up. <laughs> yeah, which is why I think most of the staff haven't even heard of the move. Hold those lips of yours still before I kiss them. Oh, the fuck, old man? <laughs> I've done nothing but listen, and from what I can tell, it's all very unrelated to the case. That's also very tedious and a pointless exercising in wasting my time. Much like a kid show. Mr. Alba, I believe the one who should be quiet now is you. Shut your bitch ass up. How dare! I suspect that you've already noticed exactly what the very severe implications are in this man's testimony. <laughs> so now you're trying to bully me, eh? Yes. There are no implications to be read on a hide the scene story of a kid show. Damn. Don't even think about it. You don't even try think about trying to slither your way out of these. Queer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> when uh, she put me on a That pointing <laughs> that pointing in his smile will just <laughs> Sorry, oh, it makes, it you were the one who said it yourself that the name of the move was Early Summer Rain Jab. But that name was only decided upon right before the show was about to start. And so, just what are you driving at? Well, that the name of the movie told us was never used in the show or said aloud. Uh -oh. Now then, would you care to tell us about how you found out the name of that move? How does he have information that no one else should know? <laughs> because I can only think of one way you could have known. Okay, I guess Alba, this is the only way you could have known the name of the special move. You saw it. <laughs> Duh. But if he saw it, oh, wouldn't that mean he was there? there? He didn't have to be there. Oh, okay then. Right. Or maybe he had... Oh. Think it through out loud. Yeah, well. You think he created it and so? Oh no. <laughs> he old. He can't think of cool hip stuff like that. Exactly. All you know how to do is kill and destroy the young. We also yeah. have plenty of hope. We have plenty of hope. And rub their nipples. Right. And lie. That's just, that's my guess. What's your guess? I'm about to go. That he, uh, saw it. Uh, but Frank saw it. Who saw it? Frank. Your mom. Frank saw Frank. it. The, 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 fir the first villain. Shut up, nigga. Uh, I guess so. Now that I think about it, I don't really <laughs> know. He said, Edo Frank, nigga. Do you agree, Tables? <laughs> what did them niggas say? They said it's all, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew the name of the move because you saw it. You saw it on the dressing room's whiteboard. Anyone can see shit on a whiteboard. The staff members who knew were keeping it a secret. So you couldn't have simply gone up to a staff member and asked. Which means that the only other option left is that you saw it on the whiteboard. So that means Mr. Alba was in the waiting room at some point, right? What's the big deal, sir? I don't see what that means. 
there's another piece of evidence that has a great deal of to do with the dressing room, so we can't afford to let this slide. This is related to both the dressing room and to Mr. Cochin's murder. Um, go to the last page. <laughs> what does the security camera say? Found on the entranceways of the Balbia and the Albest. Oh, the, the cart was probably left in there. <laughs> yeah, that too. What's in the dressing room? First guess. The blood inside. Yeah, the cart. <laughs> the push cart that was used to move the body was right there in the dressing room. During the show, the push cart waited its turn to be pushed onto the stage in the dressing room. And it was finally pushed there, along with the iron infant in the last scene of the show. And then, right after the show ended, it went into Alabast along with the Steel Samurai. Which means that the only time the killer could have placed the body inside the push cart was... When the push cart was in the dressing room backstage. So basically, the killer has to be someone who visited the dressing room during the show. Precisely. <laughs> oh, but wait. What if, and this is just a what if, what if the murder didn't take place in the dressing room? Hmm? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? I have to admit, she brings up a valid possibility. During the show, the dressing room was supposed to be devoid of people. Anyone going into the private dressing room would stand out like a sore thumb. But despite that, the killer managed to move the body with the push cart. Correct. And it is because of the setup of the theater's dressing room that it would be the ideal location for the murder of Manny Cochin. <laughs> Kirkus Alba, during the show, you went down to the dressing room. And I want to know why. Yes. Yes. Yes, I was there. I, I went into the dressing room. <laughs> <sighs> I knew it. I'm placing you under arrest right now, pal. You got that? When arrest. You're, when you're undercover in a convenience store and you see a black guy walk in. <laughs> Not so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> it's such a simple pose. Mr. Edgeworth, I, I resign. <laughs> it's too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, you can't you can't say shit. <laughs> you have to stop and wonder why he just raised his hand up. Don't I deserve a chance to explain myself? Explain? What is there to explain? I believe I told you earlier that I went to the bathroom. I had the shitters at the wall. Well, I got a little bit lost, but I did. I shed in the dressing room. <laughs> I wanted to ask for the rest, but as I was doing the pee-pee dance, I opened the dressing room door. No one's inside. <laughs> That's why I saw the move on the whiteboard. Ah, that explains it. The stain in the cart is from him. Fucking fat. Still he trying to get out of there. <laughs> like he had to go so bad, so he just went in the cart, and the blood is from the hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think you can get away with it at this point, Mr. Edgeworth? Isn't there anything you can do to stop him? You no. can't. His theme's playing. <laughs> I don't have enough evidence on hand to try to do anything. I don't have to all I don't have the airtight evidence I need to put this man away for good. But if that's what I need, then perhaps It's too late. Man. Agent Lang, I believe an investigation of the dressing room is in, of, in question is in order. It's possible that we may find new evidence there. Yeah. If Mr. Edgeworth pokes around in there, I'm sure he'll find some new facts, pal. He'll find the shit in the cart. Oh! And if we use Little Thief, maybe even learn something from the recreation. 
Yeah, they're really thinking that he's gonna just let them do all that. We don't need to do it. I mean, he's not he's not an ambassador anymore. Yeah. Like, why, he's a regular citizen. Just, why don't he just push through them and just go to his flight? You know what I'm saying? We ain't gotta do all that. You mean he he's gonna do that with all the police officers here from the Interpol? Yeah. Nigga's on Super Saiyan timing right now. He'll power through. Yeah, okay. Nigga dodge stinks consecutive things. lip attacks on Francisca. He's that guy right now. What? Wolfie, how could you? Also this. I'm not saying this to be mean. It's just that we've already searched there. My men really are something else. Yeah, except when they found <laughs> me, me and my goats already. <laughs> <laughs> We're just that good. I'm, I'm sorry to say. <clears throat> and they found nothing. There's only one thing I can say to you, sis, and it's that they found nothing. That's it. Remember the other times they found nothing? I, I guess you're right. If they had found something, they would have reported it to us. And that's when Phoenix comes in. Sorry. I yeah, want Phoenix <laughs> dick right now. I mean, how can we not? I didn't know Phoenix. I, didn't, I didn't know Phoenix was your type. <laughs> eh, I mean, never mind. Look, they need all the help they can get. They can't find anything there because they are talking there. To <laughs> and I if mean, there's no info to feed into a little thief, then I can't do much to help either. Turnabout Big Top taught me anything. The fact that there's no evidence there means that we have to check under his skirt. <laughs> Is this the end? The murder took place in the theater, which is not protected under extraterritorial rights. Check under his wheelchair! And the fact that it was Mr. Alba himself who committed the murder? If I can't prove both statements to be true, Mr. Alba walks away a free man. Is there no other course of action left to us? What would Ed Did you say what would Edgeworth yeah. do? What would Phoenix do? Get the ghost in there! We need Maya or Pearl's help. Not Maya. But yeah, yeah, Maya. Oh, wait. Which one's Edgy the wouldn't one? dare rely on a spirit Sick. medium. It turns out that uh, Kay has like 1 16th Fey blood in her. And then, like, just. <laughs> Mia just knows that. That's, that's like. That's like. <laughs> that's like terrible that shonen jump riding. Good god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would actually throw shit off. <laughs> that is actually some floating jump ass writing, I won't front you. And we're not even. Woo! I'm gonna control my stealth. <laughs> it would appear that your hand of cards has turned out to be a boss. Not if you excuse me. And as much of a fan of the bus I am. <laughs> because of you, people, I missed my flight with Fuck. spirit. <laughs> Now I have to take. Now I have to take frontier. Now I have to take public transit like a peasant. Is it the old lady oh. this time? Who is uh, it this oh, time? Spirit, the ass one. Yeah, of course oh, it is. <laughs> I can't even. Gotta make sure everyone gets a word in edgewise. <laughs> everyone has to somehow contribute to eating this guy. Hold it right there, you whippersnappers! It's literally a shonen war arc where every side character shows up. <laughs> First Larry, and now you. Scary mobster like scowl on your face, Eggy Poo. Don't treat me like I'm some sort of nuisance. You are. I've been meaning to say this, but all of you keep talking about things I don't get at all. You're all leaving this lady out in the sad, depressing, lonely dust, and I'm about to cry in. Why did you have to speak up right at this instant? But you know what, Ajipu? Cheer up. Because I'm about to give you the most wonderful thing. My hand the most is wonderful me. thing from you. I'm pregnant! I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> it's so super special <laughs> that I couldn't give it away to you just. Wait, what? It's so super special that I couldn't just give it away to anyone. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Ah, my special present of love to my sweet edgy poo. Are you ready? Is this? It's a pack of Newports. I just want to see this. Hey, Paradise Miles. Star. 
<laughs> Imagine Edgeworth in like a Newport suit. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, box of those samurai dogs, right? Yes! Oh, Edgy Poo, here, go on and eat one, and you'll feel as right as rain. I thought she was going to throw them. Oh, why would okay. you? You just know Edgy would have just, you know, like, ow. <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie. Kirk is kind of feeling like, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck, he's doing it again. <laughs> He really like, is no just feeling like no a model of like still... fucking Ace Attorney right now. It's just like no matter what happens, it's not making Literally, a dent. No one said a single word. He still told him to shut up. Like <laughs> it's just pure silence. Shut up. Harvey throw hair. He really is just a model of Ace Attorney at the moment. Why did everyone get so quiet all of a sudden? Edgy poo. Tell me you understand the depths of this lady's love for you. I'm not one to hand out snacks willy-nilly, you know. No, sir. A thought occurred to me that maybe if you were nice, uh, something, 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 uh... <laughs> 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 Do it in the Among Us voice. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, shut her up! There is no power on earth that can force that woman into silence. Quick, Edgeworth, pick us up your dick! Oh, fuck! <laughs> I mean, I'm so sick and tired of it. You people, all, all you do is look down on me. Even this box of samurai dogs play before a fool. Quick, had a what you talking about? On its, fan, on its fan, like the Japanese flag. So I thought it was special. Oh, you look. When I ate one, it tasted like all the rest. Oh, it made me so mad. Wait, a special He's box here. with a Hinomaru like fan on it? I've never heard of such a piece of merchandise existing before. However, there it is. The red rising sun on this fan is filled in. Is it possible? Could it be? After the show, the samurai dogs were piled up on the dressing room floor. However, there's no such thing as a rising sun dog. This contradiction of facts between something that should not exist and yet does. The rays from this rising sun may be just what we needed to point us in the right direction. <laughs> and just like that, Nihon saves us. A present? <laughs> Studio Bigwigs basically told us to play delivery boys. We're supposed to hand the dogs off to the embassy people and tell them, Hi! Hello? Shut up. I had to pile them up into the push cart just to move them all. I believe you understand what this means, correct? You killed Mr. Koshin at this theater and then placed his body inside the push cart. And then, you forced the Steel Samurai to unwittingly move the body for you. It's time to piece the final piece of this logic puzzle together no matter how fragile or small the connections may be. Once we found them all, the truth will be revealed. Oh, well, you know, a samurai dogs and body and push cart. Oh. So the samurai dogs were originally in the bush cart. And that's why we found them on the floor. That makes sense. Yes. Indeed. The killer used the push cart to transport the body. Which means that they had to remove their samurai dogs from within first. <laughs> Therefore, the samurai dogs that were piled up on the dressing room floor were most likely taken out of the push cart by the killer. And those two go together? Like friends forever? That shit go to Kevin! That is for friends. You is for you, there is. That, that which should not exist. This box of samurai dogs with the Hinamaru on it. 
If this red rising sun was filled in when the killer was busy removing the dogs from the pushcart, then it's proof that the murder took place in the dressing room. As long as this red substance turns out to be what I believe it to be. Oh well, yeah, red rising sun. Windy old bag. I thank you. <gasps> Passes in from happy. What you have given me is truly something very special. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the old Mr. bag actually unhinges her jaw. Are you sure you're feeling okay, sir? What? You don't go to fever. What? Mr. Alba, as I suspected, you killed Mr. Coach in the dressing room. Go we lost. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if he just he just does that pose and then your entire health bar just explodes? <laughs> your health gone just like that. Now I leave. Preferences. You need the special item that you have to pick up during the investigation to survive with one hit left. Mods. <laughs> <laughs> How many times must I listen to you repeat yourself? How would you figure it out? Because your words are meaningless, worthless, and powerless. You should kill yourself now. <laughs> this <laughs> shit starts blinking. <laughs> <laughs> the only way I'm going to continue to cooperate is with some definitive evidence. <laughs> that arrogance. That self-confidence. You believe that you've erased every piece of evidence that can incriminate you. However, there remains one piece here, and it is what will put you away for good. <laughs> You're bluffing. Oh, hey, Mr. Prosecutor, it sounds like you finally found them. You finally found the fangs we need to go after this guy's jugular. <laughs> tell, jugular. tell us, what about that box of samurai dogs is gonna put the old man away? The, tra the trace evidence that will bring him down? Why, it's here, of course. Oh, we gotta point it out. Damn name look good. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it the blood's on the front, yeah. though. That was useless. I just wanted to see the back. I just wanted to grab it. <laughs> okay, but which red dot just is the to blood, it. though? Because, like, I see that blood on I the bottom right, and then I see the blood on the is top Is that a badly right. shaped nigga twerking on the bottom right? What is that black thing? Bro, there's no way you saw that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at the red dot. Like, there's, there's, <laughs> there's, no, there's no way that's the first thing you thought of, bro. <laughs> I still don't know what it is. <laughs> this box of <laughs> this box of samurai dogs with the rising sun fan on it. This should have never existed. So, what I want you all to take a look, good look at, is this red spot. It is a single drop of blood. How do you make that mistake? Huh? It's blood. Why do you start? Agent Lang, I'd like this blood analyzed post haste. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta admit, I'm a bit surprised. I can't believe my f we found blood in a place like these. Hey, you! Get this down to the lab. Pronto! But why was there blood on that box to begin with? If we think about the flow of the crime, I think the reason will become obvious. Larry, you said that you transported the samurai dogs with the pushcart, correct? Oh, um, yeah. You have a great memory, Edgy. That push car was a bit too big for my son, you know what I mean. So to make sure everyone could see him, I had to pile some stuff on it in it. I figured the samurai dogs were there, so I used them to fill up the cart. If what Larry says is true, then what were the boxes doing on the floor? Oh, uh, see, the killer took them out in order to place the body in the push cart. Exactly, and that is when I believe the victim's blood found its way onto that box. What? But when my men investigated that room, not a single box of samurai dogs was in that bitch. Because embassy staff members had already confiscated them. Yes, no doubt to hide the evidence of the matter. Did 
good thing Miss Oldbag managed to steal one box before they got them, huh? Looks like Miss Oldbag also managed to put this great theme to shame. What a scandalous way of putting that. I didn't steal. I received it from myself. W. Uh, excuse. Kirkus Alba, I'd say this was one very fatal oversight on your part. <laughs> I'm sorry to write a your laugh face, however. <laughs> how, how can you be so self-confident in a no-win situation for him like this? Even I thought I'll turn on the belong to Mr. Coach and then what? Slut? <laughs> so, Mr. Edgeworth, sounds like he's not ready to call it quits yet, huh? The sole piece of evidence that was left at the crime scene. That alone has shed light on a new fact. At the very least, we now have proof that the murder occurred in the dressing room. <laughs> you say that as if that means something. Eh. Um. Ayo. Ayo. Exactly. Oh, that's Ed uh, not Edward. That's Phoenix in disguise, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Port. What were the results of the anal? He just winks the edge where he goes to as he walks. Sir, back. the anal came back and confirmed that this red substance is blood. <laughs> I knew it. With this queer's elbow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Edgeworth, I wonder if you might uh, humor my question. Your question? The wonder of four, or have you forgotten? No question. Even if that is Mr. Cochin's blood, what difference would it make? Like we already told you, it proves that the crime scene was just room. Don't think that he did it. But it doesn't prove that I am our killer, does it? Naive, naive, Ace Attorney characters. You are a cheater! You're cheating! This nigga is actually just Madara. I know I said it a thousand times, but I'm gonna keep saying it. Well, I guess he has a good point. <laughs> the blood on that box doesn't prove that Mr. Alba is the killer. Then, this evidence, it's meaningless. Oh, that can't be. You're so close, sir. <laughs> oh, I want to smack that smug look off his face. Come on, there's got to be something we can do. We can just kill him ourselves. We finally <laughs> found a solid piece of evidence. There must be something I can expose with it. I said I'll go to prison. Hey, Gum, should take one of the team. You're I can't think of a single thing. No more interruptions from anyone else. <laughs> This time, there will be no more interruptions. Not if you excuse me. Who else but a baby? God, leave this. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's too late. I won't allow anyone to stop me now. <laughs> uh, but it wasn't me, pal. Larry. Oh, <laughs> and it wasn't me this time either. And it wasn't me. Damn, yeah, Darian just back to back <laughs> talking. I'm just emptying up the cl emptying the clip. It was me. It was oh God. Why did you? Uh, oh yeah. Um, I didn't finish my thoughts yet. You impatient ass niggas. <laughs> There's more. What? Hurry up and spit it out. Don't talk to me. Who I want to slap the shit at? <laughs> Anyways, that blood, uh, um, it's not the victims, bitch. Anyways. What? <laughs> nah, knee? Uh, you mean it's not the same type? You mean it's not the victim's blood? If it isn't his, who the hell is it? It's mine. 
Man, I don't fucking know, nigga. <laughs> The only thing I know is that it's not the same blood type as the victim. Sorry. Well, what should we do now, Mr. Edgeworth? I have no idea what's what anymore. Neither do I. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> My, I want to be your same turn of effects. That blood proved something. <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck. That blood proof something to be true, I want. Namely, my words. And which one of your words would that be? These nuts. <laughs> oh, what, what I said, your words are meaningless, worthless, and powerless. That blood has nothing to do with the murder investigation whatsoever. Need I remind you that the blood got onto the box long before it entered my embassy? What sort of nonsense? Yeah, it's blood, pal. There's no way it's not related to the murder. Oh, so you, you would like to believe. But what if someone was prepared that Samurai Dogs had a small nosebleed one day? Uh, I guess that's possible. Damn it. Have you been wasting our time on the Red Aaron? Oh, they said damn. damn. The blood doesn't belong to anyone connected to the case. <laughs> that should be clue enough. Quit! <laughs> God damn it, now he's doing the post. I wish you did say voice. Yeah, I told you to shut up. I bet I went too far. What's his name? <laughs> yeah, he's Yeah, man. <laughs> Silence. Don't you ever trust me with such a filthy. <laughs> <laughs> I've wasted enough time here with you. And you have your answers. Now let me through. Oh, <laughs> because so Albert, it doesn't matter where you went off to, you'll never escape me. I will literally Someday kill you. I'll have the satisfaction of sinking my fangs in you. You'll see. God is gonna be a great ass kiss, and I'll have Interpol will be, uh, and all of Interpol will be behind me, working to see if that day comes. <laughs> Waiting for the train. <laughs> like you said, it really is just one of those like final arcs in a manga that's just like the same as like the entire manga beforehand. Do <laughs> you know what your words sound like to me? They sound like the whinings of a pathetic loser of a mutt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is this really the extent of all that we can do? Yes, it is. Is the blood really from someone <laughs> completely unrelated to the case? Oh or is God. there another I'm possibility? Dead. Someone else other than the victim? Just when I thought I had him backed into a corner, it is I who had been backed into one. In a situation like this, what would that man do? That one. What would he? What? What? What would he? What would he, who can turn any desperate, desperate situation around, do? That fuck around, and start saying objections. That sentence looks odd because there should be a comma there for the who. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it reads weird. It's turn it around. He's thinking about Ace Phoenix yeah. right now. Yeah. He's thinking about Ace Phoenix. Mhm. Mm That's it. I must turn my thinking around. It's not whose blood this is. It's whose blood could get onto the box like this. And uh, if I can, f if I, yeah, yep, yep. That's what we're going with. Getting is difficult. If the blood got onto the box when the body was being placed onto the push cards, then the owner of said blood must have been in the dressing room at the time. And there is only one person that could be. Well, I must praise you for trying so hard. It's because you kids that I was removed from the center stage. And will be forced to live for the rest of my life in the shadows, unfortunately. Wait. But it is not the total loss, as the underworld will allow me to be allow me to be more freedom than you will ever know. Freedom like what the raven feels as it flies through the dark night sky. You can't lay a finger on me. Not now or ever. The over the law is powerless before me. 
sound like. Hmm. <laughs> Powerless is just. Is it? I wouldn't be so sure about that if I were you. What do you mean? Allow me to describe you in one word. Pitiful. Ugly. Mm -hmm. You're black, ugly. Pitiful. How so? Kirkus Alba, your wings were clipped long ago. <laughs> and for someone who is trying to fly away on them without noticing that fact, pitiful is the perfect word to describe you. Oh no! <laughs> Mere words. <laughs> What do you mean by his wings are clipped, Mr. Edgeworth? Just what you think it means, Kay. We had already caught him in our trap a while back. With an incredibly powerful definitive piece of evidence. Hey, hey! Who's been fooling around with my wand? Earth's <laughs> apart the oh, fuck. <laughs> what are you talking about? What piece of evidence? Who's been fooling around with my evidence? <laughs> <laughs> the gumshoe speaks and it's just bass. <laughs> The piece I speak of is, of course, this drop of blood. Oh, my fault. But we know it is not the forensic number. I don't see how it remains relevant to the case at all. Miss Von Karma, I believe that is exactly why it's very important to the case. She is thinking inside the box. And the part that is most important is the fact that the not it is not the victim's blood. You're looking at a little. You're looking a little pale. Good. Then I believe you're already aware of what I mean. Then you know who the blood belongs to. A little pale. Blood. It's right. like it's like you need a little bit of a transfusion, my guy. Hmm. <laughs> of course I do. This piece of evidence is the irrefutable proof that will stop the killer in his tracks. The blood that soiled this box of samurai dogs belongs to this person. Kirkus. Oh, hey, we can actually look at profiles. Look at old bag, bro. She had it. Oh, she gave well, seven, the box. Damn, he's probably younger than old bag. Present him. Yikes. The blood of the rising sun in this box belongs to you, Kirkus Alba. Why is his blood on the box of samurai dogs? He's not even a victim. And the address is just like, I don't know when the game ends. The blood fell into the box when Mr. Cochin's body was being loaded into the pushcart. At that time, the only two people in the dressing room were the victim and his killer. So that's what you mean? If the blood doesn't belong to the victim? Oh, my belt. So there's only one other person it could belong to. Yes, and that person is the murderer himself. That's the only logical conclusion. Well, Mr. Cochin was the one who was stabbed, sir. Why would Mr. Alba even have been the one who was bleeding? What if during the murder, Mr. Cochin had fought back? So, you mean, if we find Mr. Alba could kill him, Mr. Cochin managed to have... To wound <laughs> yes, and I believe we have a piece of evidence that proves that he was bleeding then. What is a piece of evidence that shows Mr. Alba was probably bleeding at the time? Hmm. Go left. Go left. Do it again. Again. There we go. Uh, bottom third. Oh yeah, he did have a blue. How did I forget about that? <coughs> forgot because it wasn't relevant at the time. <laughs> Mr. Alba, you bear on your body a great wound. That was from the mass of second attack me with a pair of scissors. Yeah, and that happened way after he was in the dressing room. Ah, but is that really what happened? You can manufacture a weapon by smearing blood on it, so I can't just accept that as a fact. Shall we try a test, Mr. Alba, and see if the shape of your wound matches the scissors? Uh-oh, we're getting with the Von Karma. You really are something else, Mr. Hedgeworth. If you don't have a single thing, slip your body. No matter how insignificant the possibility. 
You're one to talk, Mr. Alba. You've managed to give the law the slip for ten years as the smuggling ring's leader. No matter the danger, you can you can hide every last ounce of fear and anxiety from everyone. You truly are one of a kind a one of a kind criminal. <laughs> I am the master of my fear. However, to think that such a person as you can be such a large thing. You believe I've overlooked something? You said that my wound was caused by Mr. Cochin. And it was caused here in the wind in the theater's dressing room was right. Yes, that is correct. I I like the point that it's simply not possible. My wound is a stab wound, and the only thing that can come from a blade. Keep swimming. I wonder how you will propose that such a, where such a weapon came from. Ah, uh, the this theater was packed with security guards. If it had been impossible for anyone to come into this area without a weapon of any sort, just as Mr. Albert was able to bring in the alabash and knife and the okay. There must have been some other way to sneak in a weapon of some sort. <laughs> ah, but as long as you can't prove what that other way is, all your talk about Mr. Cochin stopping me is pure nonsense. So, if that other way does exist, you better hurry and tell me how. Kaido Alba. With pleasure. <laughs> what? This piece of evidence shows us how Mr. Koshin brought a weapon into this theater. Oh, here's the music. Uh, was it the... the might have been the, uh... Yeah, the Karashu key? Bottom left? Yeah. That's the key, right? Yeah, that's the key. That's <laughs> also a knife. Yeah. That's about yeah. it. Among law enforcement, there is a piece of known as the Yato Garosu's key. <laughs> That's the key. That's the key my father stole from here seven years ago. And it is very unique in that it is both a key and a knife. Meaning that under the guise of a key, it could have been easily brought into the theater. No. Oh. You can dispose of the knife that stabbed you. Therefore, you whipped off, you wiped off the blood and placed it in Mr. Cochin's pocket. After all, the key itself opens the safe in his office. And inside that safe, there was a document about Kadopian paper signed by Mr. Cochin. In order to make it look like Mr. Cochin died as the ring leader, as the leader of the smuggling ring, you had to make it so that the police were the ones who opened that office safe. <laughs> All that hard work to save yourself only served to destroy you in the end. Shall we try matching this knife's blade with your wound, Mr. Kirkus Alba? Out his ass. Bell. Oh, you ruined it. And that is what. And that is what some may call the coup de gras. You can't take me now. Swine, all of you. No way. Especially my coach. This is all because of that man's betrayal. He sought to steal control of the smuggling me from me by removing me as ambassador. Which is why he decided to die. <laughs> Which is why he deserved to die while bearing the guilt for all my crimes for me. That's why I sent out that Yadagorasu's card, and how this incident was born. Manny was supposed to be the smuggling rings leader, who was killed by the Yadagorasu. But I... I did another... Yet another reason, yet another story, that was supposed to play out. Manny's death was supposed to bring everything to a close. And I would have gotten away for two if it weren't for you meddling prosecutors. 
And you nice. stupid samurai min. Hold the whole Scooby Doo line. Mm -hmm. Mr. Alba, I'm afraid there's one more question I forgot to ask. What now? This country's, or Alabas, which country's court would you like to face first? <laughs> Either way, it's game over for you. Like he was about to fade out. <laughs> like the flowers. I'd be that young nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so like later, no way, I guess. no way, no <laughs> way, no way. <laughs> bro, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Red light. March 17th, 11th, Material girl! Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, this is it. The big day. It's Mr. Alba's trial today. And next week, he's scheduled to stand trial in his own country of Alabast. Francisca is heading that one. I suspect she'll be serving a full course of lip lashes at it. Every five seconds. Having to face Miss Von Karma in court right after facing you, sir? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I, got <a> gl <laughs> I caught a glimpse of Mr. Alva as he was being escorted into the courthouse. And boy, he looked about as glum as I do the day before I get my monthly paycheck. Because there's nothing on your paycheck. No. Young rich niggas. He ain't have enough. That flight attendant and even Mr. Portsman were all Mr. Alba's secret agents. Correct. That smuggling ring was the common thread between all of the incidents. Kami Mia was to provide support during smuggling ops using her job as an attendant. Yay. And Mr. Portsman was to manipulate trials related to the ring and to end in their favor. Also pack watch. Indeed. Oh, I fly airlines and even the prosecutor's office. No one was safe from the smuggling ring, huh, sir? I suspect there are even more members of the ring spread throughout the world. Yeah, sounds like such a big op that I even can't begin to imagine what it's like. Hmm, what is it, detective? Ah, uh, nothing. Just, oh, what? So whatever he was about to say. Mr. Ernest Amano's trial is also scheduled for later today, sir. I'm aware of that. Mr. Amano has been working with the smuggling ring for over 10 years. He used the Amano Group's various connections worldwide to assist the ring. But all of that has come to an end as his conglomerate is now undergoing harsh scrutiny. I owe Mr. Amano a debt of gratitude, but he must pay his debt to society. Nah, D2S. That was so <laughs> ass. Well, well, <laughs> well, with the arrest of both Mr. Alba and Mr. Amano, I guess that about wraps up the kindergarten through eighth grade incident as well, huh, sir? <laughs> I suppose so. The real killer in the in the KGA incident ten years ago was Manny Cochin. And seven years ago, the killer in the second KGA incident was Mac Rell. Those two facts are the unshakable truth. However, it seems that a lot of effort was put into hiding these and other truths from us. And I will expose it all at the trials today. You're solving cases left and right today, huh, sir? CCU indeed, man. Okay, Jesus Christ, that's the worst name ever. No, Perhaps it's not, actually. <laughs> I, I'd say I'd say it's top three. I'd say that it's contending with a lot of the ones in the Spirit of Justice. Perhaps now these two brave souls who tried to make the truth known can rest in peace. By the way, I received some gifts from Ambassador Paleno. 
Shrimp, crab, beef. I don't need any of these, so I'm giving them to you. Food he finally me. has food. <laughs> Real food. <laughs> <laughs> what? Seriously, sir? Wait, actually, I don't, I don't think I want them anymore. Take it. Wait, you're holding them. Don't tell me they're just coupons, sir. Detective Gumshoe, have you not read the paper recently? Ever since the two countries became Kadopia again, its economy is e its economy has changed. Well, I really, and it seems that Ambassador Polino has reaped a few benefits of his own from it. He has been announced as the official ambassador of the newly re reunified Kadopia. Um, what a pity you would do it Even that. though it'd be. You send us a treasure, I want to do it. You don't seem all that interested. Come on, Phoenix, come on, Phoenix. Well, if you don't want them, I can give them to my lovely assistant, Kay. That doesn't sound like Phoenix. Wait, that's not what I meant. So, um, Mr. Edgeworth, please let me have them, sir. <laughs> I need to take what I can get. Actually, come to think of it, where is Kay? How come she's not here? Make them. <laughs> hey! You've got to be more alert than that. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't notice. I was even mimicking Mr. Edgeworth's voice for a little bit. <laughs> I totally didn't notice you or realize that voice was you. Tabes. Lane Z says, ferocious love blooms with each new spring. My bad, I had that. He just quick. teleports in. <laughs> Agent Lang, a pleasant surprise to see you here. Yeah, shut the fuck up. It's been a long time <laughs> since I set foot in the courthouse, but I wasn't gonna miss watching the guy who screwed up my country finally get what's coming to him. <laughs> I came to my <laughs> biggest hater's funeral <laughs> just to make sure he was dead. Pack wise. <laughs> <laughs> he fat, ugly, and he stinks. <laughs> well, then something else. I want to see you in action, court. Is that so, <laughs> Agent Lang? Hey, don't make it gay, alright? We flushed out all the counterfeit bills, so Zane Fa is finally at peace again. Yeah, no gay shit. And it's all thanks to you, so I just wanted to say thanks. It reminds me of that um, video, let your guy turning around in this cat, literally just doing nothing, just like, hey, knock it off with the gay shit. <laughs> 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 wow, I never thought I'd see the day when old Wolfie says thanks to Mr. Edgeworth. I don't even remember that. That's I should be the one thanking you, Agent Lang. Bro, what did I just say? If you hadn't negated Mr. Alba's exter extraterritorial rights, I would not have been able to bring him to trial. Is that an undead on look reference? <laughs> okay. I believe the victory belongs to the both of us in this case. Good victory, huh? Look, don't get me wrong. I'll still not forgive you, prosecutors. All right. And I have zero interest in that truth <laughs> thing you be talking about in court. I don't fuck with black people. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've always done things my own way, and that's not about to change. You got that? <laughs> I see. Well, I believe you should follow your own creed when you do your job. Yeah. If there's ever someone your precious truth can't catch, feel free to ask a real nigga such as myself. Just kidding, fuck you. Oh, <laughs> damn it. But as for me, I'm going to get that person no matter what. <laughs> Alright. It's about time for the trial to start. I will see you later. Alright, I will watch your performance from the gallery. I'm looking forward to these. Don't embarrass me out here. I prepared a whole ton of ticker tape for today's victory, sir. I'll help throw some around when Mr. Edgeworth wins. <laughs> I hope you got enough because I'm gonna going to go call my men up as well. A modest amount of ticker tape goes a long way. <laughs> goes a long way indeed. The scene shifts to the courtroom, and the final act of his long tale begins. 
the legend of the Cooper gang. I mean, the great Dave Yasa Garase. It's the story of these who chose to dedicate their lives to fuck. Prosecutors are those who see a guilty verdict for the defendants they meet. And to that end, you have no choice but to win by any means necessary. The creed that was forced on me since I was very young. However, I no longer think that we all, that's all we prosecutors are. And that is because... Reading boys. Hola, hola, hola. I wonder who the defendant's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna, Phoenix is gonna be defending the the villain. <laughs> and it says to be continued. <laughs> I feel as <laughs> though. Like, oh hell no! <laughs> Get me out. Fight within me, Rose. Nope. Just ends. You know the well, there you go. There you go. You guys got it. Oh, wait. Where's that? Oh, it's that one chick that wanted to fuck. No, right. Of course. Tin, real. I am Tin really real. in Mr. Edgeworth's debt for the other day. Thanks to him, I am still free to serve in the. In the. the oh, I, I can't read. I can't read. I'm sorry. Selling them on the internet, they become a real sensation. Thanks to the praise the art world has lavished on my work as being truly postmodern. Airline has chosen me to design their new line of I Fly Jumbo Jets. Just think someday you too will be able to take a ride in my pink wall yellow set seated jute jet. Yeah, Jupiter Jets. So. You read it, you read faster yeah. than me. Yeah. Oh god damn it. Boom boom. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> That's you, oh, that Jimmy. Edward! Ah, the rudeness of our rude man. No, because of him. My time and money is wasted, but more importantly, -er, I have seen the most fantastic fuck, the prima new statue of the Prince Bedouin. It weighs a bit light in my hands, but the ambassador Palladio was most generous. Bro, I gave him the fake one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, he got fake shit again. Most importantly, -er. uh, someone getting whipped. That's from karma. The climbing club agent takes his killer. And I was able to witness Mr. Alba's teary eyes. It felt very good to bring everything to a close. I received another offer from Interpol to work another case in cooperation with them. <clears throat> However, the Godolphian courts await. You said I feel like whipping people, though. Godolphia's air is supposed to be very fresh, so my whip should find new vigor there. I'm not gonna lie, they nerfed the fuck out of the cave background. Hey, it's cave here. Oh, let's go. Oh, that. <gasps> this little patrol man has been fired as of today, sir. Type shit. I thought I was oh. safe since we found the gun I had dropped. Dropped. But I hadn't noticed that I had dropped my police badge too. Oh, I guess what really broke the camel's back was that I couldn't find my badge. My little life has suddenly tripped into a dark black hole, my nigga. I thought I'd go to the courthouse and file a complaint with Ruffles, man. But those are just chips! Maybe you should stop dropping your shit. What you mind, poor dog? Bitches. <laughs> that's that's alright. You sure not finding me? I'm too busy eating chips over here. I that's was actually hard. hoping to talk with Mr. Edgeworth a bit more than I did. But I got to get going and return to Europe. I still got a long way to go and a lot of stuff to study there. Next time I help Mr. Edgeworth on the case, I'm gonna do it as a real forensic scientist. I'm sure he's gonna need all the help I can give him. Scientifically, of course. I forgot that horror was in this game. Yeah, I just I remember them. She was only here for one arc. She was like the Yoshida of this story. <laughs> That's quite the Daisy comparison. Staff? What? Are... Oh, the, the, oh yeah, I forgot credits. about them old lady. Or, not old lady, older lady. Because of the kidnapping with Stage, I was let off easy. But I won't be going outside much anytime soon. But that... Really okay. The only person that I'm trapped in is a cage of love! Guard down at the detention center. Well, oh when he's on guard duty. He has such a cold look in his eyes. Just like that prosecutor. But I'm... Ah, stop it, Lauren. When will you ever learn to stop being a prisoner of love? She's got like a lot of hormones going on in there. She's gonna have to get in line. 
Oh shit, oh, Ooh, bitch. just push that dude over. Oh yeah, real nigga shit. It's time. Now we're looking at the judge, actually. <laughs> it appears, uh, oh fuck. <laughs> Since, uh, <laughs> we judges, <laughs> and they are like, well, like, well, like, well, apparently, uh, Mr. Edgewood turned up with the thief and became a detective. Maybe I should team up with the bailiff and, and try to become a lawyer or something. Okay. I, I guess that's how He that was on dick for that. <laughs> Ooh, she's mad. Okay. No. No, that's the, that's, mine. that's the mini police officer. <laughs> it's mine, bitches. You're at least finding some diamonds down there. I mean, I can find a diamond fort. Oh, oh she's a police officer again? Oh fuck, that's me! <laughs> yeah, but boy, were we lucky to have Mr. Edwards help us out, huh? Yeah, but because I lost the key, I got fired from my security guard job. Oh, they are sexting. Don't let it get to you, Maggie. You've still got me. You're right, sir. I won't be sad. I want to pick myself up and get through this. I wonder what my next job should be. Oh, this is actually kind of fun. You sound like <laughs> Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Just sound like Mickey Mouse. Unemployment is fun. It's been a while, dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everyone's getting fired left and right. This is crazy. Are you sure this is a good? I mean, when you get accused of a crime, that tends to happen. And <laughs> Ambassador Dennis, <laughs> why not come to Kenobia for your summer vacation? We have coupons aplenty. Right now, our embassy is proud to be present to present our Let's Investigate a Murder Show. Although recreated that particular case has created a few small fires of its own. Then we had a few problems with the fire marshals, but next uh, next event will be great. It will be an attraction entitled Captured the Yasugarasu. Of course, I hope to enlist Case help in creating our latest attraction. She better get paid. Taishi. <laughs> <laughs> Silly face, miners don't get paid. It's only like 12 years old. 17. Oh, oh there ain't but over shit here. Nigger. I can't Failure. believe that Mindy ditched me and went to Japan. Whoa. But it's okay. Oh, man. That's how I met Miharu. We're planning to go to Paris soon and start a business. We're going to sell Blue Ocean Dogs. They sell like hotcake dogs. Hot dog. What? Blue hot, hot dog in a blue bun. I guarantee it'll turn your tongue and your face blue. I know I'm not really the type to work a lot. Or at all, really. But, uh... Oh, so I noticed that I really haven't seen the guy in the blue suit at all recently. I wonder what's up. Well, the next time we meet, I'm gonna make him eat one of my dogs. Pause, okay. Larry. What the hell was that outro? You fumbled. He always fumbles. Oh man, that. You're selling blue oh, waffles and then. Sorry, Langsy. <laughs> Oh, no, not late. Oh, bad. Today, I gave testimony in court today as a member of the Yataka Yo, Mr. Bad, you look well, all things considered. By the way, have you noticed uh, that elements within the ring have begun moving? They're probably fighting over who should succeed, over who should be the next boss. Although, to be honest, TBH, I wish I could forget I'd ever heard of that smuggling ring. Lang Z says, Thoroughly bite the poisonous snake from head to tail. No one runs afoul of the law and escapes this wolf's fangs. I'll get you all yet. Uh, youth. When did I become so old, I wonder? I've begun noticing the gray hairs in my beard more. I'm thinking of retiring my mirror. Mirror! <laughs> Put the mirror down. The grind never stops. That's a move, sure, right there. Oh, here comes the spades. The spades <laughs> It was the pink princess and the pink badger, all in the span of two days. Talk about busy. But it's alright, because I got a letter from my beloved Edgy Poo. Please take care of your hip, and when you wish to speak, first take off your headpiece. What does he mean by that last statement? It's not like I enjoy being under a headpiece every time I see him. Then some creepy, fuzzy pink animal. Then I was the pink princess, the great hero of justice. This is not what I want. Oh, this kill hero. No one's gonna notice. It's a fucking flash. 
flashbang. Damn, that was a lot in that one. Right, I got a fortune on this pickaxe. Shit. Man, what does the flashbang sound like in a cave? <laughs> That'd actually be horrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Yo! I feel so much better now that the trial's over. <laughs> and as always, your legal prowess is top notch, sir. Yeah. Nothing beat the look on Mr. Alba's face when you really when you revealed the ring's secret. I'm amazed. You're like a totally different person when you step into a courtroom. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth is always ten times fiercer in court. Unless he's up against Phoenix, in which he looks like a complete bitch. Based on the information Mr. Alba offered up, they've begun large-scale operations to clean up the rest of the ring, which I'm happy to leave for Francisca and Engine Lang. So, uh, what are your plans now, Kate? Hmm? Oh, well, I've taken care of the creep who killed my father, so I'm not sure. Hey, I know. Maybe I'll just keep on being Mr. Edgeworth's assistant. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> are you still trying to steal my job, pal? Just kidding, just kidding. I can't steal something so important to you, Gummy. Cap. W Ew, what, a, what a relief. That'd be a W setup for when Gumshoe's the next antagonist. If she has to steal the truth from him. Oh my god, yo, hire me. <laughs> yo, oh my gosh. Shu Takumi, like. <laughs> okay. Yes. Even after all that's happened, are you still planning to become a great thief? <laughs> like, I'm about to of course. <laughs> but. I don't want to tarnish the legend of the noble Yatagarasu. So, I'm going to hold off on doing anything until I make my make a tight three-person team of my own. Bring me a pearl fan on that. Pearl? Three-person team? A three-person team of young beauties the same age as me, if possible. You're a Aww. victim. With those criteria, I highly doubt you'll find the two, peop two other people you need. My father chose to fight for the truth. I think that's what was so noble about him. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, the only things I will ever steal are the truths that have been hidden away. Must be Sonic so bad. I'm going to work extra hard to make a world where the Yadagrasu isn't needed. <laughs> Let's both strive for such a future. Well, I guess it's time for me to get going. I see. Okay, keep your chin up and stay strong, okay? Bars. And don't be a stranger. Don't worry. I'll be back. I'll be sure to break the lock on the window and sneak in. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> if you could, I'd appreciate if you came through the building's front door. <laughs> it's okay, Mr. Edgeworth. Lock on my window at home has been broken forever. <laughs> That's cool. Ooh, one last thing before I go. Let's take a group picture, just the three of us. Because everyone does that. Yeah, a commemorative photo. Every big case has to end with one. Now. Damn. Hey, why not? Don't tell me you're camera shy, Mr. Edgeworth. Of course not, detective. Then do it, bitch. <laughs> come on, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm taking the picture now. Hey, come back here. Mr. Edgeworth, you can't run away from this, sir. Uh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. Stop that. I can't be seen doing Eat that. Oh, doing what? Okay, I'm totally taking it now. Say cheese. It's gonna be his, his back shot when he's running. And thus, the long tail of the fuck. I it saw a demise of smuggling ring, the birth of a great little thief. A but little great thief. There's little time to rest and relax. For I am eager to tackle the investigation into a new case. The reason for my eagerness is my want to pursue the truth and my want to believe in the strength of those who use the power of the law for good. As someone who has chosen to live my life as a prosecutor, 
That is my new creed. That is a picture. Yeah, it's selfies back then. People have made funny edits with that K picture. Well, yeah, I imagine. Damn, we're good. Table, shut the fuck up.